This footage shows American, Russian, and Syrian flags all at the same checkpoint in northeastern Syria. It reveals both the complexity of the situation in this part of Syria, as well as how dangerous things can get. This confrontation eventually led to a shootout between pro-Assad Syrian fighters and the U.S. convoy. So how did this happen? Let's break it down. The U.S. has patrolled the Turkish-Syrian border since 2017 to keep tensions down between various factions in the region, namely Turkey, a NATO partner, and the Kurdish militias that are helping the U.S. fight ISIS. In October 2019, President Donald Trump suddenly announced he was pulling U.S. troops out of northeastern Syria, opening the door for Turkey to send its own troops in. That complicated things. Turkey's invasion paved the way for Russian patrols in the area and strengthened the Syrian regime's presence. Suddenly, the U.S. wasn't the only country with patrols in the neighborhood. Both Russia and Turkey started conducting their own patrols in the same region after working out a deal with the Kurdish militias. The U.S. ultimately backtracked on its plans for a full withdrawal and instead pulled back to patrolling a much smaller, oil-rich part of the region in the east, essentially giving up its influence in much of the region to Russia, Turkey, and the Syrian regime. The overlapping patrols have led to events like those of mid-February, when a U.S. convoy was stopped by pro-Assad forces at a local checkpoint outside of Kamishli. You can watch the scene unfold in various videos uploaded around the time of the shooting. This Kurdistan 24 reporter was in the middle of a live broadcast when the shooting began, right as two American soldiers and a translator walked toward the scene. The reporter and her cameraman then quickly run down the road and take cover. In the main video showing the shootout, shared by Syrian state media, there is at least four Syrian gunmen visible shooting at the U.S. convoy. Meanwhile, a Russian patrol is parked nearby on the side of the road. And in another video, two other men with guns can be seen watching from a garage while another attempts to pour what appears to be gasoline on an American MRAP that is already on fire. Video also shows Russian soldiers speaking to a group of people at the checkpoint, some of whom have guns. One Russian soldier can be heard telling the people to chant against the Americans. The same soldier is seen in another video telling people to move away from the U.S. convoy. While this was the most violent incident of its kind so far, it's just one of the many recent examples of U.S. forces having close confrontations with Russian and Syrian forces. As uh, we see here, uh, some American troops, they don't give the permission for the Russian uh, troops to cruise uh, to the oil areas. For this video, Newsy analyzed video and images posted online to find at least eight confrontations between U.S. and Russian convoys across northeastern Syria. All of those just in the first two months of 2020. Most of these incidents involve traveling on the M4 highway or near it, a strategic international road that runs throughout the length of northeastern Syria. One incident that occurred after the shootout involved a U.S. MATV running a Russian vehicle off the road. A U.S. military spokesman said Russia had violated deconfliction rules in this case, something that the spokesman says Russia does on a routine basis. This is not the first time that U.S. and Russia have butted heads in Syria. In 2018, the U.S. killed 200 to 300 fighters, a mix of Syrian regime forces and Russian mercenaries, that attacked a U.S. position. And in 2017, U.S. jets intercepted two Russian jets after they crossed over the deconfliction line in Syria, separating U.S. and Russian activity at the time. These more recent incidents were closer, though, and they show that the U.S.'s ability to dictate the terms on the ground in Syria is slipping. And it reflects just how crowded the U.S. position in Syria has become. 